Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a groovy class using blocks. I'm using these blocks that I will link below that I made, made out of cork so they have a little bit of weight to them. If you don't have blocks you can use little dumbbells or um, you can use blocks with a little bit of weight to them or basic blocks. So and Otherwise, I will link the mat and the blocks below, and I'll be using that weighted type of um, prop. So, let's open the arms out, opening the space between the collarbones, relax the shoulders as you're reaching to the sides. From here, you will press the air out and turn the palms of your hands up and again press the air out. Turn the palms of your hands up, press the air out, turn, out, turn. Without any tension in the shoulders, chin parallel to the floor, a few more of this. Great, hands behind the head, we're going to press the elbows back and look up, opening the upper back. Open the arms out twist to one side and here let your hips follow that twist great up facing forward opposite side facing forward this time lock up your hips so step your feet about hip width apart and keep your hips facing forward inhale forward exhale opposite side inhale forward reach over the head hands over the heart warrior three level the hips coming up and bring your leg in front of you good let's change sides left leg on the floor warrior three level the hips flex the foot pull the toes in press the heel away from you this is the basic alignment that's at working here and coming up using your quads here and your lower Abs. Step it down. Inhale, hands over the head. Reaching up, relaxing the shoulders. Sit back, chair it at the tailbone under. Hands on the hips and we're going to walk to the front of the mat. And walk to the back in your chair. Take your tailbone under and again, walking forward and walking back. Good. From here, you are going to walk sideways using the rhythm of the music and staying in your chair. Hips working and opposite side. And again, push your hips back. Opposite side which is the funny side sometimes. <laughs> All right, let's walk to the center of the mat. Grab your weights or your blocks. And we're going to tap the legs forward, still in chair. Great, coming up. From here, we are going to circle the arms out and walk one way. Circle the arms in. Keep your alignment here so shoulders are back and down, reversing the direction. And opposite side. Obviously here you don't want terribly heavy weights. Just a little around one pound is probably perfect because of repetition. Great, from here we're going to take side to side plie. So we're straightening one side, straightening one side. Moving, bringing the arms in. Okay, plie. Time for plie. Reach your blocks in front, out, in front out in front out 
good toes lifting on one side toes lifting on the other let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten reaching over the head hips grooving circle the arms side to side reaching so take a steady plie one side opposite side one two three four five six seven eight nine ten great coming out of this i hope you're feeling it we're going to move back this is going to be our our in-between poses groove so we're going to be coming back to this moving with your blocks just try to try to really hold your blocks rather than just flop them around so there is your muscles are working in a very fluid way which will build really nice strength and tone in your arms without them being too bulky that nice length that yoga gives you plus a little bit of extra power yoga growth strength all right leave your blocks down and let's bring the hands down plank hold spread the fingers open shoulders above the wrist From here, we're going to groove the hips in plank, belly in. Great, down dog, walking in place. Inhale the right leg up, open the hip on top of the left. Wow thing. Bring both hands behind you, tabletop. And from here we're going to press the hips right to left. Great, side plank, spin your hand forward, star side plank, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reaching over the head, plank, down dog, take the left leg up, Open the hip, drop it behind the whole thing. Two, table top. Left and right, pressing the hips. Great, spin your right arm forward, side plank, star side plank, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plank, let's walk to the front, bringing one foot in front of the other small steps and back plank from here we're going to jump 
the feet on the outside of the hands. Grab your block and reach in front of you. And groove up side to side hips. And down. Push the body back, up and down. Don't straighten the legs so that you never come to a complete rest. And don't go into the resting on the bottom. So make this challenging for you. My shoulders are burning, great. Let's change the scenery a little bit and take warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Lower in side plank, side um, angle. And reach over the head, really lengthen. Plank with the block. Chaturanga. And lower down. From here, you're going to either grab both blocks or one, and you're going to lift your legs and your hands and press up, one, two, three, great, pull your blocks in, handy, pull the belly in, press back, down dog, grab your blocks, take a plank, Step your left foot in. Let's circle the arms out, warrior two. Reverse it. Side angle. You can reach over the head and the weight really stretches you out as if you're getting an adjustment. Plank with the blocks. From here, step your feet a little wider for better, for better, better alignment. Try to steady your hips, and we're going to bring the blocks side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Elbow by the rib cage. Next, we're lifting forward. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Leave the blocks to the side plank. Chaturanga. Lower down onto your belly. Lift. Let's grab the block. Lift. Lifting here in Superman. Beautiful. And hands underneath the shoulders. <clears throat> Knees down, pull the belly in. Come up, down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step the right foot between the hands. High lunge. Hands in prayer twist. Maybe clasp. Left hand on the floor, drop onto the outer edges of your feet, press the right hip away from you, sit in that hip, let it stretch, grab your big toe, transition into three, or side plank with toe hold. Great, reaching forward, into splits. From here, you're going to glide your heel back and come into intense side stretch only, flexing your foot, right foot, and pulling the toes in. Sit in that right hip. Great. Step onto the right leg, grab your blocks, 
coming up into warrior three with the blocks by the sides and we're going to do triceps extensions with the blocks in warrior three level the hips flex the foot five six seven eight nine ten and you can go back into plank chaturanga lower down cobra down dog take the left leg up high lunge hands in prayer twist maybe clasp Releasing breath. Great. Right hand on the floor. Open into the press the outer edges of your feet down. Flexing the feet, sitting back in the left hip, allow me to open. Grab your big toe and transition either into three or toe hold side plank. And split. And drawing the heel back in towards you so that you can straighten the back leg, level the hips, and take a nice, comfortable or <laughs> relieving the hips and then side plank. From here, grab your blocks, power of the lower back, warrior three, extend, extend, triceps extensions, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Drop the blocks down and sit down between your blocks. In here, you can come onto your blocks, either lift both legs or for the postpartum mamas, one leg at a time. Working on that lower belly that we're still tightening. So from here, really pulling the belly in, drawing the navel in, one, two, Knee, knee whacking your forehead. <laughs> Just kidding, don't whack your forehead. Good. Open the legs out. Forward bend. From here we are going to Lower the shoulders down, hands underneath the knees, forward bend. Coming back up, so so the feet together. Grab, grab your block, and we're going to reach to one side with the block, using that weight to kind of pull us into that side and opposite. Excellent. Block underneath your booty and lower yourself down onto your elbows and onto, onto the floor. Now you can choose which side of the block you're laying on. The tallest maybe for the more back bending. And you can rest here for a moment. This is a passive back bend. So the block is right under your lower back, onto your uh, tailbone. 
and you can have your feet in bridge alignment if you're on the lower side of the block you can feel the uh, bring the soles of the feet together hands can be palms of the hands facing up holding here on standby or you can place your hands down soft on the shoulders and as you breathe let your upper back melt into the floor so there is an inversion here as well inversion and a back bend So from here, you're going to power up your feet, lift up so you can grab your block and lower down slowly one vertebra at a time, slowly coming out of a back bend so that your spine has time to adjust. Place the block between your knees and, and come up in bridge, squeezing your block in. Pull the belly in, belly button in and up, activating the deep abdominal muscles, Mula Bandha. Activating Mula Bandha, your pelvic floor. Slowly release, lower down, move the block to the side, hug your knees in. And from here, roll on your side. Come up, and we are going to finish with our roof. Grab your blocks, come up, and we're just going to basically take a basic step side to side so that we can start going into back lunges with arm circling. All right, ready for the next level. Back lunge, leg lift, 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 opposite side. Both shoulder level at all times and that let me tell you that works all right basic step reaching deep on your plie and let's go side bends side bends side bends side bends back to your basic step and you can stay here for a little bit take this as your meditation for the day and this is your loop you are empty minded while the body is moving here just kind of grooving with the music whatever comes through you. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.